So today I'm going to kind of go back into what I used to do and um, just do a lot more review videos. Um, that's kind of the reason why I started this channel, just to do quick reviews about um, items that I've purchased and that I've been using. I find that they're so incredibly helpful when you're shopping for something to um, go on YouTube, um, click on, you know, a, type in the product that you want to buy just to see some quick review about whether or not that person liked it or not and that's kind of what motivated me to start my channel so that's what I'm going to be doing today. Um, what I wanted to review is a new line of shampoo and conditioner that's available at Target and it is the Proganics um, Coconut H2O plus Electrolytes um, Quench series um, and this is for um, as you can probably guess, um, for dry hair. And they're from the makers of Organics. So it has um, pretty much the similar um, logo with the X right there. Um, and kind of what their thing is organic products. And um, I do want to mention that these products are not 100% organic, um, even though it has the name Organics in there and it's from that brand. Um, and that's something that they state outright on the back. It just it does that say that this product is not organic as the term is defined under the California Organic Products Act. I picked this one up because my hair has been really, really dry. I just recently um, dyed it pink. Um, so before I used to have blonde right here. Um, and right now my pink has faded a little bit. It's been a while since I did dyed it. It's been about two weeks. I've done about maybe four to five washes. So um, actually close to four washes I think and so you can see some of it is not as vibrant as it used to be it's more of like a baby pink right now um, and I used the Hot Topic raw in case anyone wants to know um, but back to this um, it is a sodium laurate sulfate free shampoo um, and I really like the smell of it it's a really nice coconut mixed with a slight citrusy, soapy kind of smell, so it's not overly or like coconut, because I know sometimes the herbal essence and the Garnier Fructis um, shampoo and conditioners that have like the coconut scent, sometimes it can be really, really overpowering and it smells like you're literally in Hawaii sipping on a pina colada or something and it's like coconut scent. But this one, has it's really light and it doesn't kind of linger in your hair, which is what I like. It doesn't compete with your perfume or things like that. Um, and I got this because it was selfie free and I was looking for something that wasn't going to strip my hair too much. I know um, they have shampoos dedicated for color fade and red hair but I actually had purchased this right before I did my hair um, pink and so I was kind of like, you know what, I know I'm going to do it somehow. Some Sometime along the line I'm going to be dyeing my hair a certain color so at least I'll get the selfie free one um, instead of getting like a red shampoo when my hair was not pink yet. So um, that's kind of the reason why I picked it up and it was also new so I figured I'd give it a try. Now the shampoo is okay. It's, it's not going to lather up very well. Um, it's like when you pour it into your hand it kind of comes out a little bit goopy. It almost feels a little bit like Elmer's glue. It kind of has that stickiness but um, when you put it into your hair and you lather, it doesn't really lather up. It's not going to create the suds. So if that's really important to you, you're probably not going to like the shampoo. Um, when I'm rinsing out the shampoo, does it feel any softer? Not really. Does it feel like my scalp is really clean? Um, not really. Um, so I feel like if you are using this shampoo, it'd be good to have a clarifying shampoo to use uh, maybe once a week or once every other week just to kind of make sure you have um, all that you know, nasty oils out of your hair. Um, and I've been washing my hair maybe once every two days and, and usually my second hair or third hair I'll be using a lot of dry shampoo. I do put a lot of mousse into my hair and I curl it um, regularly so that might be one of the reasons why I feel like it's not lathering as much or it's not doesn't feel as clean. Um, but if you just, you don't really put much product in your hair and you're just looking for something that's really light um, sulfate free that might this might be a good option for you the conditioner on the other hand is amazing it's such a weird consistency it's almost like it almost feels like it's actually like coconut butter like when you put it into your hands um, it has this almost like jelly like consistency where it's 
it's so hard to explain. You know, if, you ha if you've ever used coconut oil in your beauty routine or when you're cooking and stuff, you know that at room temperature it melts. But it almost has this weird consistency of like coconut oil when it's like in that middle, not fully melted, but not completely solid state where you have chunks of coconut flying around or not swimming around in there. Um, it almost feels like that. And I'm going to kind of show you um, how it looks like. I have a napkin here, so I'm not... Um, and it, do you see how it's kind of falling out? It's it's so hard to explain. It's not a thick consistency. You can tell right there. It's a little bit... Um, is it going to focus? Please focus. Well, it's a little bit like clear. So it's not super thick. It's not super creamy. Um, when you're in the shower and you put it in, it almost feels like it's melting off your fingers. Like it already feels like it's melted. Like... Um, it's not sticky in any way. It's not overly creamy in any way. Um, so when I first tried it, I was thinking like, oh my gosh, this is not going to moisturize my hair. It's, it looks, it feels like it's totally water-based or something. Like when you put it into your hair, it almost feels like those kind of masks or conditioners that seem to just melt off right when you put it on your hair. Like it doesn't really stick to your hair. At least that's how it feels like. It feels like very liquidy and li very watery. Um, so I was a little bit worried um, when I tried it, but when you rinse it off, oh my gosh, your hair feels amazing. It just feels super soft, but weightless. It's amazing because I know so many conditioners say that. They claim that it's, it's weightless and, you know, it's, it's not going to weigh your hair down. You'll still get the volume, but in the end, it's just like any other conditioner. But this one, my goodness, it's amazing. The conditioner is just so good. Um... And I love it for when sometimes I'll do a co-wash where I won't use any shampoo, but I'll wash my hair with just water on the roots and then I'll put another, um, I'll just put some conditioner down here and just kind of use that. And it's perfect for that because it really is weightless. It doesn't leave any weird residue. Um, it doesn't make your hair feel thick. It's just really interesting and it works really, really well. So I'm going to read kind of what it says on the back. Um, it says, power-packed blend of quenching coconut water, supercharged with electrolytes and weightless coconut oil. Perfected in the salon to drench your hair in weightless hydration, transforming dry, parched hair into silky, shiny perfection. And I got to say, it really does that. It is really weightless. Um... Yes, I haven't tried anything else in the Proganics line, but I would definitely say if you're thinking of picking up a conditioner um, and shampoo, I would try it out, especially if you have fine hair. I think you will really love it. So my hair has been bleached four times, and I also put you know pink in it recently, so it's not in the best condition, but if I can feel it, um, and I can feel that instant change, um, I think it's so that's just amazing for me and even better is that they're not tested on animals and so that's great okay that's it for today's video um, I wanted to keep it really quick and short hopefully this was quick enough so I'd love to hear your thoughts um, please leave me a comment below like um, subscribe to my channel uh, I'd really love it if you could do that um, and yeah until then I'll see you have a great day I'll see you in my next video bye